Hello and welcome to the first video in a new tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to create a Minecraft clone using C Sharp uh, with the OpenTK graphics library. Uh, this is going to be an OpenTK uh, focused tutorial, not a C Sharp tutorial. So uh, I do recommend that you have at least uh, intermediate knowledge of C Sharp. You don't have to be a master, but being able to program in C Sharp and understanding basic coding concepts will help you very much. Um, this tutorial is going to be using Visual Studio 2022 as well as the .NET 7.0 framework and OpenTK version 4.7.7. There are links in the description to download both Visual Studio 2022 as well as the .NET 7.0. I believe that when you download Visual Studio 2022, it does prompt you to download the .NET Core as well. So there's that. Um, and we will be setting up our project and installing OpenTK in this tutorial. So with that being said, once you've installed Visual Studio, you'll be greeted with this page here. I wanna go ahead and create a new project. And you want to create a C Sharp console app. Make sure it says C Sharp down here. Uh, press next. And then here you want to put a cool name. Make sure it's way cooler than mine. It's just OpenTK Minecraft Clone Tutorial Series. And then for the location, I highly recommend uh, clicking browse and then making sure you put it in a folder that you uh, remember. I'm going to put it in Minecraft Clone Tutorial. This is so that whenever you need to add, add something into there, um, you know where it is. It's just a good practice. And then click next. And it's going to ask you what framework to use. I'm using .NET 7.0 because it's the latest version and why not? And then go ahead and click create. All right, and if all goes well, you should see this screen here. This is your new OpenTK project and you'll see the project in your solution explorer here as well as a dependencies and a C sharp file called program. This is a simple program. It prints hello world and to make sure that it actually does, go ahead and click on the run here and it says hello world so all is good your program works now what you got to do is go ahead and actually um, install OpenTK into your project and it's very very simple to do so so all you got to do is go to the search here and look up nugget or nougat i'm not really sure how to pronounce it but it's n-u-g-e-t um, and then manage the packages go to browse and then go and search and look up OpenTK should be the first result here go ahead and click install click ok and once you see finish at the bottom here OpenTK was successfully installed just in case you get an error uh, there are there is one thing you can check um, you can go to right click on your project go to properties wait a million years for properties to load all right and then once it finally loads uh, you check your target framework and make sure it is the proper .NET um, it, you can go on the OpenTK website and then check which um, versions of .NET it supports. Um, I just recommend using .NET 7.0 with uh, OpenTK 4.7.7 because I know personally that it works. Um, but there you go, just in case. So now let's go back to our project here and we have this program.cs and we have OpenTK set up. So we're all done and it's to make sure it um, all works. Let's go ahead and press build solution all working and we can go ahead and run it and it still runs with no errors so we now officially have OpenTK installed on our computer and this is really cool because we don't have to install any other libraries basically to create a fully fledged game with OpenTK this comes with uh, loading images loading all this stuff um, mathematics all the stuff that you normally have to import one by one is all Im um, imported at once when you install OpenTK so that's about it for the installation tutorial here. Um, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.